New this morning, we're showing you uh, love at a local bakery that launched during the pandemic. Jamie is feeling sweet today. Can we say that right? <laughs> After being laid off, a Mesa woman started to bake muffins from her home kitchen, and then the pastry unicorn was born. Jamie on location, showing the love <laughs> to a new yeah. business. Mm -hmm. Uh, no doubt about it. Good morning to you. Yeah, and this is a sweet gig indeed. I want to introduce you to Bryce. She is the woman behind. She is the pastry unicorn. Uh, and I want you to tell the folks a little bit about your story because you had moved from Colorado uh, to Arizona to hang with your sis. You want to be closer to sister. And then that's when the pandemic happened. That's right. So I lived in Denver previously and I moved out here to be closer to my sister. Yeah. Um, so then the pandemic hit and I was slinging muffins and cheesecakes out of my home just to try and pay my bills and they were like you need to start a business you need to just go for it so i did it how did you find this community kitchen right here with local first well i started at mesa farmers market mm -hmm. um almost a year ago and i knew that to produce the things that i wanted to make like cheesecakes safely uh -huh. i had to end up in a commercial kitchen so the owners of the farmer's market recommended this place to me. Okay, let's talk about this cheesecake because yes. the business is kind of built in the back it really of is. this cheesecake right here. What makes it so unique? So the cheesecake is really soft. It's got a little bit of tang to it like I think any good cheesecake should. Mm -hmm. So this cheesecake actually is a rum and passion fruit cheesecake. So the layer is, the bottom layer is a ginger snap crust and then there's a rum filling and then the top has passion fruit curd and of course like little bits of raspberry mm -hmm. and whipped cream. Oh my goodness, it sounds delicious. I said right here, would you bring me bars of soap? This is so stunning. What, what are these slices of cake? What are they? So this is traditionally <clears throat> a French gâteau marjolaine. And so I kind of took my twist on it, but the pre uh, prevailing flavors are going to be a brown butter cake oh. layered with a hazelnut pecan praline um, frosting and then a hazelnut ganache as well. You see the macarons. You do bread too. Yeah, a little bit and of And these everything. cookies, you have a scone down here. Yeah, uh-huh. What's so, that? I supply to a couple different coffee shops in the valley, so I do lots of muffins, scones, things like that mm -hmm. for them, as well as cookies, and I love to be able to play with seasonal flavors and create something a little different, mm -hmm. so that's what I use for my cookies especially. How has this kitchen really helped you out? It has helped so much, just yeah. being able to produce in a manner that I need, produce the things that I want, and just having the space and the resources that Local First provides are, yeah. are really just so valuable. So with a name like Pastry Unicorn, you gotta live up to it and you like adding <laughs> flair, don't you? That's right. Tell me about uh, how you want to be remembered. I want to be remembered by those weird combinations. Just that one thing that makes someone say, uh, okay, that sounds interesting enough. I want to try it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm maybe not sure about this one thing, but they always try it and they, they love it. Yeah, it's creative combinations yes. is I think what I'm hearing. Absolutely. Where can we find your delicious things? So I am at a couple farmer's markets. Uh -huh. I'm at Mesa Farmer's Market. Elliott Road is in Gilbert. I'll be at downtown soon, uh, downtown Phoenix. The couple coffee shops I supply to and then Main Street Harvest is just down the street in Mesa. Um, and so you can find my cheesecakes there. Okay, well, we want to find those cheesecakes. And I want to remind you, as we're talking about tax time, you can make a charitable donation to Local First Arizona. That money will help fund community kitchens like this one that help put some of these entrepreneurs uh, to work, give them a place to create. So, you know, you can be eating these wonderful things saying, oh, I donated to Local First. This is all due to me. Pat yourself on the back <laughs> as you're taking a bite. And you know what? Uh, I got to take a bite right here of the cheesecake because I... I do it for the people, man. <laughs> you know me. I, I, I would just be sticking to veggies, but for you. Right. <laughs> ah. Mm. Oh, yeah. She's a unicorn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamie.